The artwork behind me is titled Clara's Heart. It's located in the city of Santa Clara, California. This video is about hearts, especially the blood flow. The used blood enters the right side of the heart, coming from the body and down from the brain. It's then pumped out and down into the top of your lungs, where it then travels to the bottom, absorbing oxygen, making life possible. It then, at the bottom of the lungs, it comes back up to the left side of the heart and it is pumped to the brain and to the body. Why do you need to know this? Because heart attacks are different, have different symptoms. Heart problems, coronary disease have different symptoms. This video is about coronary problems. Your artery is being blocked. You might not be having a heart attack, but you're under extreme stress. So you go to the hospital. You need to know if your heart is good or if it's failing, or if your lungs are working properly, or if they're failing, or possibly the blocked arteries. When you get to the emergency room, they will run blood tests looking for chemical markers. Chemicals that the brain has told the body to produce to repair damaged organs, such as the heart. That's an indication of having a heart attack. However, you may not be having a heart attack, so those chemicals won't show up. Their analysis, their tests, won't show anything. Here's what happened. I had an ice factory and I was hauling ice. My body was under extreme stress. I knew I was in trouble. I went to the hospital and told them. Now I had already had one bypass operation with three arteries bypassed about 10 years earlier. I was under such stress that I was having to breathe extremely deeply and rapidly to oxygenate my blood. That's what we're talking about of a test to see if your arteries are blocked. If you can hyperventilate your body or not. If you cannot hyperventilate your body, something's going wrong. If your heart's good and if your lungs are good, then it's your arteries that are blocked. Breathing entire lungs full of air through your nose blowing out through the mouth. In just a few seconds, you should be able to feel lightheadedness. If you can't achieve that, then oxygen is not getting to your brain. It's not oxygenating your blood. If your heart is good, and if your lungs are working, then it's blocked arteries. So I went to the emergency room. They did their tests, it showed nothing. The doctor, the cardiologist, had been sent there to open up a new cardiac hospital. And he said to me, we're going to send you home. I said, can we talk? He said, sure. So he pulled up a chair and sat down. And I said, here's what's going on with my body. My arteries are plugging up. I'm not having a heart attack yet. But if I go home, they're gonna plug up and I'm gonna die. So he said, well, there's a couple of stages that a person goes through when this event's happening. And I said, yes, I know. I went through them. I was trying to determine if my heart was failing and if it was, I decided that I'd had enough. I didn't wanna go on a heart transplant list. I didn't wanna spend the last days of my life in a hospital waiting for a heart if, if it ever came. I was willing to let life go. And I was trying to focus through an oxygen deprived brain. Very, very difficult to do. And he said, it seems like a, like a dog wanting to stick its head out the window of a car to get more air. I go, yes. That's how it was at first, but it got worse. 
He said, well, another stage is what we call doom or absolute doom. And I said, and that stage was extremely difficult to focus and to determine what my problem was. But I stayed at it and I kept breathing for more than an hour. And I could not hyperventilate, but I could keep enough oxygen in my body and my brain to keep functioning. And then I figured out what was wrong. My arteries were blocked. They were closing up. Not having a heart attack. Everything else working. It was simply the arteries. And that's why I came in. Because the arteries could be fixed. But you didn't run any tests to show that my arteries were blocked. The test you need to show, to take, is the running the dye through the arteries then the images will show you that those arteries are blocked. He decided he would take those tests. And when the images came out, the arteries were blocked. I ended up having five arteries bypassed. Now, the last thing he said to me was, after he saw the images, you can lay there on that gurney and die in the next 10 minutes or you can hop a plane to the cardiac hospital. I said, let's go. The moments before all of that, he was willing to send me home. Why? Because his test didn't show anything. As a matter of fact, while I was laying on the gurney in emergency, they were shooting me up with relaxation drugs because they thought it was caused by fear, being frightened. And my body, Takes, it uh, destroys drugs like that very quickly. My body is completely immune to morphine. If I'm given morphine, it flushes it out right now and I'm not anesthetized. Knowing your body, how it works, and knowing how it works in comparison to most people's bodies can save your life. Because when they're doing their tests, they're thinking about what's normal. What's textbook? What they were taught? And they may not be listening to you. You need to make them listen to you. And you need to know what's wrong. Otherwise, they'll send you home to die. Now, I hope this video helps. I hope, hope it prevents you from being sent home to die. Or if you're in the room dying at the hospital, I'm with you in spirit so you don't have to die being the only one in the room that knows the truth. When they're paid to know it, they're educated to know it, but they didn't take the right tests. Hyperventilation. If you can't do it, then your body cannot absorb enough oxygen. When I was laying in the emergency room, they were pumping oxygen in my nose and I wasn't exerting any effort. The little trickle of blood that was getting through had enough oxygen to keep me going. I knew how my body worked, how it functioned. And so it was up to me to know what was wrong, to instruct them. Test yourself. I'm already feeling lightheaded. If it takes longer than that, you have a worse problem than I have right now. If it's faster than that, you're, then your body's working pretty darn good. Test yourself. See if your arteries are blocked. Thank you.